Good morning, madam. I'm looking for a job. I am a gardener. Yeah. It's interesting that after 10 years, the story still has a huge amount of punch and it has a huge amount of relevance, even though we've come a long way as a country. But it's not a political story. It's first and foremost for me a, a story about somebody recovering from a terrible thing. And in this case, the character that I play survives a tragedy and somebody comes into her life and saves her from herself. So I think it's something that we can all relate to in a way. Who is it that helps us out of situations where things are very painful? And often it's the people you least expect. As human beings in such a country that is, 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 you know, is broken and fractured, the soul of this country is somewhat tainted. Um, and all it needs is for every single person just to look just to see, just to connect with another person, just to touch, to put your hand out and touch someone else. It's beautiful, and that's what I hope they get from it. <coughs> okay. Not today. Style of black and blue is quite specific. It's like nothing anyone's ever seen before. It's very delicate. At the same time, there's a lot of clowning, and at the same time, it's very, very hard to watch because it's very painful. But we all know those relationships and in fact I had a lot of ladies come after the show to say well that's exactly the relationship I have with my gardener. He is everything that I need and look forward to and is meaning to my life. These are, are people who are of a certain age. So I suppose the relevance and on another level young people absolutely love it because it is a love story but not in the way you expect it. I was very inspired by my grandmother who had a relationship of, of this kind with her gardener who was called Wiseman and she lived for him every single Wednesday that was when Wiseman came and it gave her meaning and it gave her purpose so that was how I began um, but I was also very interested in uh, I suppose prejudice and uh, out outlook on the master-servant relationship we think when we have you know, servants working in our house, or we call them domestic workers, that we're treating them the right way. And very often, it's not the case. Um, and that doesn't mean we're abusive or anything, but it's just something that makes us perhaps not see them as human beings. And what the character I play goes through is the revelation that this person that comes into her life, Jackson, is a total human being, but he's also maybe an angel who's come to save her.